When I was studying Japanese in Egypt, our Egypt. professor told us that it was actually polite to slurp the noodles. In Egypt, if you just go to a merchant in the street and tell him I want one banana, he'll just give it to you for free because that means you're poor. Outside of Japan, mm -hmm. everyone thinks like, everyone here is so polite, everyone is like same <laughs> mindset. But I, I know that Japanese people have the honne and tatemai yeah, yeah. mindset. Mm. So I didn't know that before I came here. But mm -hmm. here I was like, there's no way all of these people are actually that nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and that polite, it does, just doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. And then um, I realized that when you get deep into the culture mm -hmm. and deep into contact, like communicating with people, mm -hmm. especially if you're communicating in Japanese, things start to show. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that was a bit of shock when mm -hmm. I came here. Thank you for your time today. It's okay. Uh, can I ask you um, where you're from? I'm from Egypt. Egypt? Yes. Wow, that's the one of the country I, I would love to go. It is a beautiful place, yes. Beautiful place? Way, way different than Japan though, but yeah. it is kind of beautiful in its own way. Like, what, what do you think are the most like, different things, Japan, so, Egypt? So, here in Japan, it's so, like everywhere you have forests, you mm. have a lot of trees, there's a lot of greenery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in Egypt, it's really desert. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can imagine. And even here in the cities, you can see a lot of trees around. Yeah, true. Yeah, mm. like there's here. not that. Exactly, like yeah. right here. There's <laughs> not that in Egypt. There's no trees there. There's barely any trees. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> they um, they try to make way more space for buildings mm -hmm. than for like the natural Forest. habitats. Oh, yeah. I see. Is it hot there? Yes, so right now it's, in, it's November, right? Yeah. And here it's around 22 degrees. Yeah, 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 yeah. So in Egypt right now it's around 35, 32. So it's like you're basically still in summer. Okay, so when it's winter, is it cold? Around January, yes, it's okay, really okay. cold. I see, I see. Yeah. All right, so today's topic is about like Japanese, you know. Mm -hmm. So do you speak Japanese? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Can you introduce yourself in Japanese? Uh, hi, Hazumi Mustafa. My name is Mereto. 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 Hi. Nice to meet you, Mereto. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> so fluent. You're learning Jap Japanese, right? Uh, I used to learn in college, so four mm. years of Japanese. Okay. Um, however, once I got out of college, I mm. kind of stopped. We don't have a lot of time to do it. Mm -hmm. And Japanese is one of the languages that just disappears from your mind <laughs> if you don't work on it too much. Yeah, true, 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 true. <laughs> I had a major in Japanese and a minor in English. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so that was my major and I had to come here in my third year in college mm. to actually uh, study Japanese here in uh, Japan. Yeah. Japan. Yeah. How was it? <laughs> it was fun. It was fun? It was fun. It yeah. was... Uh, a brand speaking. new experience when I came here I could barely actually speak Japanese mm -hmm. and then all of the uh, sensei they only speak Japanese mm -hmm. barely any English so I had to kind of adapt very very quickly oh, okay. Yeah. okay that's nice <laughs> yeah so you're kind of being thrown inside of the language mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's the best way. way to learn you know, the language I kind think. of yes yeah because like when I went to London right mm -hmm. I found a lot of Japanese mm -hmm. and I, I became friendly with them right yeah I, I feel like comfortable, mm -hmm. you know, speaking, like being with them, mm -hmm. but it's not good for my study English, right? Yeah, exactly. But in your case, you know, you're in Japan and no one speak English or like, you know, something. Barely in English. Right? <laughs> yes. I think, yeah, that's good way. So, so I want to teach you some Japanese, okay? Okay. Do you, do you have any Japanese or Japanese expression that you want to know? Uh... Which you still don't know. I have to think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of slang that I really don't get, but I will not be able to tell you which slang it is. Like ah. You can teach me a slang word, uh -huh. and I most likely will not know it. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you learn like slang? How did you get to know like shrunks, Japanese shrunks? Uh, so Someone taught you? So you know the JLPT, the, mm. um, yeah, the exam for studying Japanese. So basically, as you go up in the levels, mm -hmm. you learn more slang. Oh, really? So, so, so you learn the formal first. Mm -hmm. Usually it's the other way in other languages. Like mm -hmm. You learn the slang first and then you learn the proper grammar. Yeah, that's how I learned 
English, English. yes. But here, no. It, you study the the proper way, the keigo yeah. and everything. Okay, okay. And san keigo, and then you learn the slang. Kaja or Japanese slang. Yes. Style. So I learned a little bit of slang in my last year in college. Mm-hmm. But I really don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Slangs. I mean, yeah. I'm using Japanese. I'm using Japanese slang. Mm-hmm. You know, like just consciously, un- unconsciously, yeah. right? Yeah. So I don't know which is the slang and no. <laughs> um, for example, Maji de. Maji is like, uh, oh really or like, really? I didn't know really? that one. Maji, nice, nice. <laughs> I didn't know that one. Maji de means like, really. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to teach you like good strongs, you know, not like dirty words. Yeah, a few. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have any English strongs that you like? And I'm going to translate it into uh, Japanese. There is, there is, I don't know if they are considered slangs, but mm, yes. this is a piece of cake. Ah, Instead of okay. Saying tantan, there's, there is another way, I'm sure. Kore wa hmm. asame shimae desu. Asame? Asame shi means like breakfast, right? Okay. Mae means before. Before breakfast, okay. Before breakfast. So, like something you can do even before breakfast, so it's so easy. So, yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, even even though you just wake up mm-hmm. you before you break, you can do. So that okay. is that easy. Asame. Asameshi. Asameshi shimai? Yeah, asameshi mai. I mean, like, shimai, okay. breakfast, mm-hmm. Japanese is like, asa gohan. Yeah. Right? Asameshi is a bit like casual way okay. to say that. Okay. So, like, asameshi mai. Okay. I didn't even know that asameshi was another way for me. <laughs> you told me two things in one. <laughs> asameshi mai. <laughs> That's quite fun. Yeah. Is there any like English expression or something? Um, um, there is. There was the one about the frog. Frog. In the well. Ino no kano kawazu. I think so. Ino no kano kawazu. What What does it mean? You remember? Uh, yes. So basically, if a frog is living in a well, mm-hmm. it will not know that there's an ocean outside <laughs> unless they go out of the ocean. <laughs> exactly. That's the one, right? Ino no kano kawazu. Oh, let me move on to the next question. Okay. Before you came to Japan mm-hmm. for the first time, did you search about Japan? That's the funny part. So Why? I'm moving to another country. I should search, right? Mm-mm. I did some searching because I wanted to know like how I will be dealing with things. Mm-hmm. However, most of it I just learned when I was already here. So mm-hmm. I literally threw myself into the thing just okay. to see how it will go. But because um, in Daigakode, mm. our sensei are actually Japanese, mm. so they did teach us a lot of like how things are going to be mm. in Japan, so mm. that was nice. So, like, I knew about the manners, mm. Mm. a lot about prices because prices here are way different than Egypt. Price? Yes, prices for things. I remember when I first day I came here, I went out to get fruit and I, I was able to get like one banana just one okay and that was the funniest thing ever because in egypt we get it by the kilo so you get a whole kilo oh. of bananas and here you can just get one and it actually has a price like in egypt if you just go to a merchant in the street and tell him i want one banana he'll just give it to you for free because that means you're poor like you can <laughs> but here you can actually do that like you can actually go and just get one banana or something it was at a company in college i will not forget that experience <laughs> Because it was for 90 yen, uh-huh. I even remember the price, <laughs> and I was just like, you can just get one. <laughs> just one. Yeah. How much is it? Like, is it is it is it expensive? Uh, that, so fruit and vegetables in Egypt they are very cheap oh, okay. compared to Japan. Japan. I think here because of, I think some stuff are uh, imported and because there's not a lot a lot of like farming lands here, so mm. everything is more expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think the price for a kilo. Mm-hmm of bananas in Egypt would be the same price for one year. Wow. Yeah. I remember when I came here the first time, I, I was able to get like two tomatoes. Two tomatoes, yeah. Yeah, for 150 yen. Mm-hmm. My mom was just having a fun day with that. Like, <laughs> mom, I got two tomatoes. She will get me like the two bags that she got and be like, here, same price. So vegetables oh, here are so expensive. Oh, I see. <laughs> All right. That's quite interesting. That's something you don't think about a lot. <laughs> <laughs> How about like food, like um, food in restaurant? So restaurants are around the same price. Okay. But like meat, 
is very cheap. However, oh. in Egypt, it's really expensive. So I was mm. able to get a lot of vegetables. However, I was able to get a lot of meat. Mm -hmm. And in Egypt, the exact opposite is just so expensive. Mm. It would be like Kobe beef prices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just normal meat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Meat is like kind of like expensive, like fancy yeah. things in Egypt. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's quite interesting. Yeah. That's new to me. All right. Yeah. I think before you came to Japan, right? Mm -hmm. You, I, I think you have like an kind of image mm -hmm. of Japan. Mm -hmm. And you actually came to Japan. Like, did you find any like differences between like your image and the reality? And this might sound bad. Mm -hmm. It's fine. <laughs> but so outside of Japan, mm -hmm. everyone thinks like um, everyone here is so polite. Everyone is like same <laughs> mindset. But I I know that Japanese people have the honne and tate mai yeah, yeah, yeah. mindset. Mm. So I didn't know that before I came here. But mm -hmm. here I was like, there is no way all of these people mm -hmm. are actually that nice mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and that polite. It does, just doesn't make sense. Yeah. And then um, I realized that when you get deep into the culture mm -hmm. and deep into contact, like communicating with people, mm -hmm. especially if you're communicating in Japanese, things start to show. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that was a bit of shock when mm -hmm. I came here because mm -hmm. I, I just thought like, okay, yeah, maybe, maybe it's all like that. But mm -hmm. you do get a little bit of different mindsets mm, mm, mm. if you really really dive deep into it and I don't think a lot of people outside of Japan actually understand that mm -hmm. it's not that it's bad it's just that it's not what you think there is inside uh, yeah, you? oh so you mean like the different people kind of like try to be seen nice person but deep inside they might think different way yes Espe I think especially like when you when we work yeah. In the restaurant or you know, like service like industry, right? Yes. Like I'm, I'm working in a restaurant now, mm -hmm. and even when like really, really annoying customer comes, I try to be, to be nice. nice. Yes. If I'm not working, I just like slap him off, like you know, <laughs> like, sh shut up, man. Like exactly. Why are you being so rude to me? Like, yes. but it's because I'm working there. I'm getting paid there. I try to be nice, exactly. no matter like how rude he is. Exactly. You know? But yeah, yeah. I did see a lot of like that the the service here either way is so like in high regards mm. like you do the service to the max that you can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have that anywhere else. I'm sure you have <laughs> seen in London. <laughs> that's not yeah. something that's anywhere else. Yeah, but at the same time, yeah, what I found in London is mm -hmm. um, so in Japan, customer mm -hmm. and the staff mm -hmm. there's a kind of like barrier. barrier. Yeah. So, you might get like good service, you know, good behavior from the staffs, mm -hmm. but you cannot become like friends or when mm -hmm. you can, yeah. you know, like really communicate, you interact with them. Yeah. But when I work in a cafe in London, mm -hmm. customer and staffs kind of like friends, you know, yeah. kind of neighbors. Yeah. You know, just say hi, how are you doing? Like, you know, we have a small, exactly. small talk. And I had quite a good time there. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoy like working there. Yeah. So, yeah. I think there's good and bad sides. Exactly, you know? yes. Yeah. All right, so last question. Okay. So is there anything mm -hmm. that you want to know about Japan? You can ask me anything about Japan. Because I'm Japanese, I'm, I'm from Japan, you know? How do you deal with the train system? Train system? Because I lived here for a year. Okay. And now I'm here for a month. Mm -hmm. And I get lost like twice every day <laughs> is there a twice every day every day that's too much i'm i'm just texting my parents and mm -hmm. my partner like hi guess what i'm lost again. <laughs> <laughs> not anything new but <laughs> i think like for me yeah, just like google it google is no? wrong <laughs> he's wrong how i i got on a train a couple of days ago and mm -hmm. i didn't know that there is something called like premium car that you have to pay extra for ah, okay and i was just sitting down just waiting for the train uh -huh. to move and then the person came in i was like what are you doing here <laughs> just google told me to sit here <laughs> I'm just sitting here now i see i see i see i see yeah i think best way is like to mm. get um japanese application to yeah. to like search you know the train system in japan like okay. this Yahoo Japan. Yahoo, okay. Yeah, like this. 
and you can put you like the destination mm -hmm. like station. Okay. Yeah, to, to be honest, yeah, I'm living here in Kobe, mm -hmm. and sometimes I go to Tokyo yeah. to hang out with my friends there, right? And I, I get lost quite often. <laughs> okay, so it's not just me. So That's it's not nice. just you. <laughs> and plus, I think I'm Japanese. I can read kanji. Mm -hmm. But for foreigners, it's a bit tricky to read kanji, right? Yeah. So that's the, like another factor to mm. get lost quite easily. Mm. Mm. I'm what? sorry. I'm sorry. I'm good. I'm not good advisor about it's it. Okay. <laughs> what is one thing you can tell me about Japan that I probably don't know yet? Oh, that's quite interesting. Okay. Mm, I think you know you know this one. Mm -hmm. But when you eat noodle yeah. or drink soup, yeah. you can slurp. Yeah. You know it. But that's the thing. Do you actually consider it polite or is it just because you don't mind it? It's just because you don't mind it. It's not pride. Thank I mean, you. if it's too much, if it's too noisy, people get annoyed. Yeah. When I was studying Japanese in Egypt, our Egypt. professor told us that it was actually polite to slurp the noodles. Mm. So now you have a whole class of 25 people uh -huh. just thinking that slurping the noodles is actually the polite thing to do. So that's good that you mentioned I mean, that. I'm not too sure. I mean, I wouldn't say it's pride, but I think it's good. It's like, it is you can so taste good. it. Yeah. yeah, you can like taste it better. Yeah. You know, because I cannot enjoy eating it without any noise, like, with, like without like slapping. If, if you if you have to consciously think about not slurping the noodles, mm. it makes it less tasty because part of your brain is just yeah, thinking yeah. about, okay, I cannot slurp. Exactly. So I think if you have the permission to do it, it's fine. Mm. But literally they told us like, if you eat noodles, you have to slurp it. So so that's bad. Yeah, you don't have to. So that's yeah, really you don't have to, for sure. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> How about this, like, you cannot put your edible. Okay on the table oh, really? when you're eating. Why? It's rude. It's rude. It's rude. Really? Like, or okay. like, if when you're like, eating a like, bowl of rice, okay. you should like have um, like grab a um, okay. bowl okay. to eat rice. Mm -hmm. You cannot leave it on the table that's and eat flight. it. That's not That's a bit rude. Okay. It's good. It's that's, bad that's something I didn't know. Actually. Yeah, there's like a lot of like manners, like mm -hmm. rudes when, you're, when you eat mm -hmm. food in Japan. Okay. How about it's like you cannot make noise when you're mm. eating something like okay. okay chewing noises chewing noises yeah okay. do you have it in egypt in egypt if you make any noise while you're eating it's through like slurping chewing anything okay, okay. yeah people will comment on it mm -hmm. they will comment on it uh it's just really bad however i don't think we really care if we put our like elbows elbows on the table and it, Egypt, um, there's actually a lot of stuff that is eating by hand as well. Mm -mm -mm. So it is just like um, unconscious that you will go grab something, put your hand on the table while you're eating oh. it or something. So we don't really. Yeah. Every time I put my edible on the yeah. table, mm -hmm. my mom tell me off like, <laughs> put it off <laughs> okay. the table. Yeah. I'm like, sorry, mom. <laughs> uh, that's that's fine. And you cannot hunt like food. Mm -hmm. To um, another person with chopsticks. Okay. Because like, when we do it, it's like when you do like funeral. Oh yeah. So okay. we burn the body, mm -hmm. and all, only like the bones are left. Mm -hmm. So we put like the bones into the box, oh, okay. like this. And then Amazing. when you do it, like mm -hmm. we kind of like pick up bones and like hand it to another person with oh, chopsticks. Okay. So it's kind of like you know like taboo to do okay. it yeah there's a lot of things and i might be wrong okay. so if you are watching it and then if you notice it just just leave a comment on the below please don't tell me off just, <laughs> just say nicely yeah say nicely please <laughs> okay i think that'll be it okay. thank you for your time today i really appreciate it arigatou gozaimasu thank you <laughs> Born in the city, I was raised on its edges My pop work is life when it's complex I found love in its center If I could live here forever, think it'd be for the better I love the weather, even though it's fog 24-7 I love the people, this is the city I met all my best